Hi, I'm Ash from Capital City, and we're going to show the all-metal Hartford hook here. Just a quick recap, we do have the wood Hartford hook with the solid white ash handle and the reinforced head, the cap bottom. Uh, we modernized this version into an all-metal style right here. This one has a slightly smaller head. Same design as this, but because the, uh, the shaft isn't as thick as the wood handle here, we actually were able to reduce the profile in the center here. But your length of pull on either side with these tangs is actually still the same as the wood handle hook. We have one tang coming straight out to the side, which you'll see later in the videos. When you're pulling straight across like this, when the tang is straight out, you can pull the tool like this and pull straight back versus having a tang coming out like that when you have to angle the tool. So that was one minor variation we put on it. We have an all-metal shaft similar to a New York roof hook and the shaft straddles the head right here to prevent any bending and we also have grooves welded into the handle so if you take your hand gloved or ungloved and you run it up the shaft and you feel the grooves that orients the tool for you so that you know you've got the long side of the head. So again you feel the grooves Got the long side. And the tool is also capped at the bottom as well. They come uncovered just like this. If you do want to wrap on them, they can be wrapped. You can pick any wrapping that you want. There's a million different ways to do it. If you ask us to do it, we'll do it with paracord and hockey tape. It's a very uh, cost effective solution. And just a quick recap on the design overall you've got the half moon shape just like that the top of it is sharpened so you can punch into your material you have a short tang on the side here that is blunt and you've got a long tang on this side that is sharpened the sharpened side comes in real handy for uh, plaster and lath that has chicken wire in it so as you punch through the material with the sharpened top and you go to pull down a lot of times your tools of chicken wire tool will get hung up, whereas this tool can cut right through the chicken wire and pull the rest of that stuff right down. It's a close-up of the head design. Half moon, sharpened on the top. Short tang, which is blunt. You can use it on tin ceilings, any material that you desire. And then you've got the long tang, which sharpened on the bottom here for cutting through. Here's a reinforcement coming up on the head. Here's your welds on the handle. You feel the welds. You've got a long side for orientation. And differences between the metal and the wood. This tang comes slightly down. So does this one as well. The lengths of these tangs, they're the same. The overall profile is smaller here only because of a narrower handle. You see this is narrower compared to this. But as far as what you can pull, it's the same. And lastly, before we get into uh, the demonstrations, uh, this tool is not the end-all be-all. It can be used effectively for legacy construction, modern construction, plaster and lath, sheetrock. Uh, it can be used on roofs. We've taken roofs of it before. Uh, you can use it for just about anything, but we're not saying that it's better than any tool on the market or not. This, this tool has been around for over 100 years. It predates the 1920s, 1910s. We're not even sure what industry it really came out of. The city of Hartford machine shop came up with this tool back in the day and it's been part of our culture since then. So for us, it's, it's uh, very nice to see that we were able to bring it back and put it back into service for a tool that's so old, a tool that predates everything else on the market. So again, if you like it, use it. If you don't, you don't have to use it. But for us, it works. And now we'll get into the demonstration. So to start your purchase point, here's some plaster and lath. So 
Instead of trying to bury it in over and over like you do with your typical hook, all you have to do is just make a notch. A couple of notches that way, a couple of notches that way. See what I did? One here, one here, then you turn the tool, make another couple notches. The plaster falls right down, and now you can see the direction of the lap. Now in smoke, I understand it'll be a little harder to see, but when you're overhauling multiple rooms and the smoke is starting to lift, this is a good way to just not wear yourself out. Now you can see the direction of the laugh. Bury the tool, turn it. Take a step back. Put the tool underneath your armpit, use your body weight, and step back. And now you can use the short or the long side. The long side will have a little more pulling, pulling power on it. You encounter any type of resistance, you sneak it past into the next slot. Turn it. Down it comes. Same thing. More resistance. All I'm doing is sneaking it up putting a slight turn on it, and I can pull everything down as I come down. So that's moving forward. If you wanted to come backwards, again, get your purchase. Use a long side, short side, both of them. You can put the tool under your armpit, and just take a step back. So the other ceiling there was a single layer. This is a double layer here. It's got the plaster to the left, and I believe this is uh, some kind of gypsum board, sheetrock. So if you encounter more than one material, same thing, just make a notch, clear it out. Just a few hits like that, I can see the, uh, the laugh now. Just gotta get the tool in place. Turn it. Down it comes. on taking the baseboard off the bottom here baseboard trim so you should note that 
When you try to take the trim off, if you go dead center in the middle, it's gonna be a lot harder. So if you usually if you start at the end, like if you start over here and you work your way down, you pop the trim off, there's less nails at the end, you get more leverage at the end, and you can just walk baseboard away from the wall. So with the Hartford hook, you've got the head that it's a blade style. So you're basically gonna run it down the wall. Here's the baseboard, as best you can, drive it down hard and then slowly work it away from the wall. thing I want to show is uh, the way this head is designed with the point coming down this pan you get it set with a half moon once it's buried and set you can rock the tool up it leverages everything off the wall once we have time it all comes off just like I was doing here once the tool is set even if I came this way again Rolling the tool against your wall it forces the material off. So it's that motion of setting it and then rolling it. And the leverage is everything.
demo of the all metal book on uh, your typical legacy construction classroom lab. <coughs> so to recap, we have the wood hook, everything is bigger, the head's bigger, the handle's bigger, the cap is bigger. You can pull a lot of material down in one shot. However, you know, guys want to have a tool that's wrapped, something more familiar with them. So we have the one that's styled after the New York roof hook with the handle. This is the one we just used. Uh, Weight-wise, weight is uh, similar to New York hooks, between seven and eight pounds. So it's going to feel very familiar. And again, this is a new design with uh, the size of straddle the head to keep it from any kind of uh, flex or bending, just to reinforce it. And that's it.